What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Grab My Banner Boxing Podcast. And this is an emergency episode, an all hands on deck emergency episode. There has been a strike on the character of every single host of Grab My Banner, every single boxer in the Grab My Banner Boxing Championship. There is a masked marauder taking over the Discord server, taking over the Grab My Banner podcast. Carter is alongside me right now. Schmozzy, what's going on? on what has been happening the last two days full-on chaos on twitter we have a mysterious account calling out some of our best boxers anyone and everyone for how they play who they pick going after him he he is taking shots left and right and i kind of like it honestly we're gonna this this episode we are gonna come out with our official statement but we got to work through some things first me and carter are going to discuss it and see which side we land either on the side of the masked boxer on the side of the people or on the side or or not even on a side directly down the middle and we're gonna we're gonna work through that but let's get the information out there for people who are confused a twitter account appeared randomly on the uh on I'm sure you got the follow of Grab My Banner. I, yeah, Intel. I got it. I got I the follow. Was- yeah, and I thought it was Carter on Grab My Banner podcast. And I thought it was Carter. He thought it was me. And it was a person who claimed to be Grab My Banner News. That's That was their at. And so they claimed to be a news account. And then immediately started attacking Benny Boy 69, who, if you're not familiar with, you must be living under a rock. He's been a top five boxer literally every single event since the beginning of the grab my banner boxing uh league so he's been there since day one starts going after benny boy starts attacking his character assaulting who he is as a boxer assaulting his character pick and we're like who is this and i i really did think it was you carter i, I was like all right well this is carter 100 percent because i sh- i straight up texted you saying you're a cold cold man for yeah. saying what you were saying because i thought it was you who else would it be i was confused i was like why did he say that and i said why i, I was like i think my exact <laughs> response was what why what happened and then he goes is that not you and i was like no i thought it was you and he said no it's not me and then he sent me a screenshot i sent him a screenshot we know it's not each other that's what that's pretty much the only information we know uh at this point regarding who it is honestly carter as this has gone on i've you know what? I'll talk about this after, but I've grown less and less. Uh, I have less care for who it is and more care about what happens going forward. Um, but let me round out this information first. Uh, so the the masked boxer all of a sudden starts tweeting Benny Boy, starts tweeting everybody, has just Carter. He has the most insane meme game we have ever seen in our lives. And uh, I'm saying he because I doubt it's Allie, which is the only girl in our crew. I doubt it's Allie. I I don't think it's her. After that happened, we started seeing new accounts pop up. DMs were showing up in my account. I'm sure Carter got some DMs from uh, another account that said, I think the name was uh, You'll Never Know or something like that. Like I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so DM saying, yo, uh, you'll never know who this is, blah, 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 blah. All of a sudden, now there was an account called Max masked boxer hater and then there was masked boxer lover so four brand new twitter (laughs) accounts appear out of the blue and then started calling out every single boxer in the grab my banner boxing league spurring people to make their own twitter accounts because benny boy did not have a twitter account spidey did not have a twitter account spidey a former teammate of mine they don't have twitter accounts now they're making twitter accounts to go back at the masked boxer and it just swirled into this cyclone of bullshit and and toxicity and it's been fun as shit to watch i'm not even gonna lie to you this has been in- incredibly fun to watch at work it is probably the most entertaining thing i have i just sit there maybe get some popcorn and i just refresh twitter because it's something new and i love it is it's one of my favorite content pieces so far this week 
I literally couldn't get work done today. I, I, every stop I'd pull up to a house and every stop I would pull out my phone and see, and I would see Spidey being like, I'm going to beat your ass. You dumb piece of shit. And then, you know, the, the mask boxer is like, you're a bitch. Like, like just going back and forth with everyone. And not only is it grab my banner, people who are getting involved, my fiance got involved. Uh, some of the hosts who's not very active in the account got involved. You know, even my fucking dad, the elder one in Discord Ooh. is involved. Everybody's getting involved trying to figure out who this person is. And uh, Caitlin, my fiance, sent me probably like a five paragraph <laughs> text about who she thinks he is, who she thinks it is based on their astrological sign, their affinity for loving basketball and hockey. Like she just sent me this whole thing, and it was insane. So it's really taken over Full the entire server. Yeah, everyone is playing detective. Everyone has their own theories, their own little who, oh, it has to be this person. I, personally, at the very beginning, I was like, it's Travi Patty, the only person I know who loves trash talking because he does it with me all the time during like boxing nights. So I'm like, why not? Why? Why is it not Travi Patty? But he kept saying, oh, it's not me. So I, I mean, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But as of right now, it could be anyone. It really could. And honestly, it's it's turned into like not just who is the masked boxer, but who is masked boxer hater? Who is masked boxer lover? Who is you'll never know? Like, who are all these people? Honestly, it's been insane. And and we have to pick a side here, Carter, because we are the the hosts of the Grab My Banner Boxing Podcast. Uh, I asked the host of the Grab My Banner Podcast what they thought. They said, you know what? It's whatever at this point. We don't know who it is. We, we won't take a stand just yet. Uh, so we'll have to talk about that later. But as for us on the yeah, Grab we, My Banner we Boxing Podcast, yeah. we have to take a stand. And I think yeah. we need to progressively work through this and figure out where we stand. So let's start it off. Um, you know what? Before we do that, let's let's get some let's get some predictions out there on who we think it is. Just just first of all, because you brought up Travi Patty. I think it's also Travi Patty, and I still think it's Travi Patty. Despite what he <laughs> says, I really think it's Travi Patty. But you know who else is really suspicious is Ellen Cryptic. Have you noticed that he's in all the oh, all true. the meetings? He's always there, but he really doesn't say much. I he's mean, like there, but just he's he's lurking. He's lurking at all times. Um, I've also heard some rumors that it could be a two man job where one person does the trash talk, the other one does the boxing. Which, if you're the mask boxer and you're not actually boxing for yourself, I gotta say, if I find out, I'm going to roast the living shit out of you. Like that is next level bitch status, right? What now. if, what if like at a point, like he has to fight his like true identity, and that's when you bring in your body double. That could be it as well. I think that's the only reason how just to try to confuse us even more, because it'll be like it can't be me because I fought him. Mm -hmm. Also, and now that I just said that, that's one hundred percent going to happen. Also, what I what I have to say too is, Travi Patty hasn't been called out by the mask boxer at all. Midas has been called out. Benny Boy has True. been called out. Spidey has especially been called. Out. Spidey comes out of no. Especially Spidey is the today. nicest oh. guy ever. I I did a duos tournament with him. Nicest kid in the world, and he is getting assaulted on the Twitter on the bluebird app he is literally getting just attacked left and right and this kid is coming back i i gotta give spidey credit he's never stepped into the ring i'm betting my entire existence on him when he steps in the ring i don't care if he's never fought before <laughs> a guy with that much drive to go and kill somebody in the ring i'm putting all my money on him even if he loses i'm not going to be upset because spidey has the determination to become the best i really yeah. believe that and spite is a truly powerful motivation um I think uh, personally, he he first started with a lot of bloodhound hate. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't, I I kind of want to take all the bloodhound mains out of my uh, my sus list. I and, I think, and it leaves like uh, the wraiths, the horizons, the mirages. So like Travi Tokier, um, is. Baby Ogre, a uh... baby ogre plays Horizon. 
now. Yeah. Or Mirage. So him, Midas, I don't think plays Bloodhound. Well, he does kind of. But like for the for sure, like Bloodhound, uh, Coochie Lord, Benny Boy. Like, I don't think it's those three just because they do main Bloodhound. Let's get one thing out of the way. It's not Benny Boy. Benny Boy would never, <laughs> Benny, after the shit he's gone himself. through, yeah, after the shit he's gone through this week, there's no way it's, there's no way it's Benny Boy at all. Um, oh man, there's so many suspects out there. You've got Boba, you've got Midas. I still think Midas is a suspect for at least one of the accounts. Oh, I'm you not have sure Cryptic too. You got Cryptic, you've got Travi Patty, you've got Travi Patty's friend Tweety. Now, I remind you, if Tweety pulls this off, massive props because he hasn't said a damn word. And it would be crazy if he would, because I played with Tweety and he was actually good at the game. Travi Patty was lagging, sucking, and me and Tweety were just popping off in some ranked games. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Tweety, uh, but if he, if it is, that'd be insane. You've got, I still think Allie is a suspect somewhat. Uh, I'll throw but, sus on her. Yeah. I'll throw just, sus Just why there. not? <laughs> um, and a lot of people are saying Cookie. I don't think Cookie would do this. You think, I, I don't think it would make a... I don't think so. He's not even because, in the Discord. Because the whole the whole thing was like he's going after one shot wonders, pretty much. Yeah. And yeah, I don't want to say Cookie was a one shot wonder, but he used one person and it was yeah. pretty wonderful with it. Yeah. And I think Put they would have called out I think I think Cookie would have been called out to uh just to throw scent off the trail, but I don't think it's Cookie. Uh, a lot of people thought it was me for a little bit. A lot of people thought it was you for a little bit. It's clearly not us. It's not Brian. I don't think Brian would do this. Uh, I, I haven't yeah. asked him straight up, but I don't think Brian would be in on this. Um, and then I don't think it would be Kyle because he fakes as if he's busy all the time. Mm-hmm. So for him to do that, it just, it just goes against his character. No, it's definitely not. Um, it could be a lot of people out there. There's a, there's a lot of options. If you want to check out my the Grab My Banner's latest YouTube video going through some of this, it's extremely dramatic and oh, uh, very I dramatic. It. It, it's almost like a horror film. Go watch that on our YouTube channel. Also, thank you. Shout out for 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Big oh, shout out to you. the community for that. But it is not us. Let's move on to uh, what we think. Which side we should stand on, Carter? Let's move on to that. Let's let's start oh, discussing let's this. Get juicy. Now, here's what I will say. I think it's good to have a guy like this to make the boxers realize that your job isn't secure. You know, you you see this in all this all the different types of sports, right? I'm a big Conor McGregor fan. I've loved Conor McGregor for a long time. Uh, I didn't watch UFC before Conor McGregor. And uh, he just recently lost his his most recent fight. He got knocked out for the first time uh, on the UFC stage. And he said in the ring, he said, I haven't been here long enough. It's It's been too long since I've been in the ring. It's been too long since I've been in here. And I just got mollywopped. I need to start being in the ring more. I need to start taking more fights. When Connor was younger and hungrier, he took whatever fight that it was. And, and, he, would, and he would fight. As time grew on, as he got more money, as he got more fame, as he got more notoriety, he slowed down. I think our boxers could get into a similar situation if we don't allow the mass boxer to be who he is, right? And I want our boxers to to stay hungry. I want them to keep moving forward like that. Especially with, like, a tournament coming up. Try to – it's kind of he's allowing them to try and peak in a way – at the right time because right now they're like oh shoot i have someone calling me out like not not a lot of uh, other boxers do this but i have a person calling me out that i am a trash boxer i want to absolutely dumpster this kid so let me actually try and get better and this is perfect timing because in a few weeks we're gonna have that 16 boxing or boxer tournament so yes hey that's a win-win yeah, it, like you said, it's perfect timing. Uh, the other pros, I think, when it comes to the mass boxer is, you know, it adds another competitor into the ring. Whether it's somebody who's already in there or not, we always can use brand new fresh bait. You know, usually we only get one to two new boxers at each tournament. To have another one in there, like, it just adds to it. Um, and I think it's cool to have another guy in there because, you know, it opens up the ring a little bit. I like to see that type of intensity. And honestly, if you're in the ring and you're running two accounts and you're able to get two accounts up to the top three, 
you're just fucking goaded. Like there's that would be <laughs> there's insane. no way around that. Like if we were he to ever just find one out, two. <laughs> yeah, if he's one and two, like you're just fucking shitting gross. on everybody. That would be insane. Um, so there's that. Also, the third thing, the other pro, social media. I mean, this he got all of these people onto the Twitter, right? It's yeah. like, dude, we've been running a Twitter account literally since the podcast started. We I think we barely had like 70 followers or something like that. Since this whole debacle started, we are up over 100 followers on Twitter. And that's insane because I always felt like Twitter was our best platform, but it had the least amount of followers because it's very hard to like advertise yourself on Twitter. And for a lot of younger kids, you know, it, it's difficult to, you know, get, you know, Twitter's not like their number one social media. They'd rather be on yeah, Instagram, or Snapchat. It would be like TikTok, yeah. Or TikTok, for, yeah. For so, us, for us it's 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 been Twitter. So. It's been Twitter forever, yeah. So, you know, it got Benny Boy on Twitter. It's nice to see him in there. It got Travi on Twitter. It got all these new people on Twitter. And it's cool because now we have a lot more stuff to debate and talk about on on the app. And Twitter is the best app to do that on. You know, like we can't really debate in the comments on TikTok. We can't really debate on the comments in Instagram. On Twitter, it's like we can actually have a discussion. And to see all these people on Twitter, I think, is really cool. So um, I got to say, you know, those are three pretty big pros right there to keep the max boxer around and and to have him do his thing uh are there any cons out there uh i think like just going some boxers might take it the wrong way yeah you know i mean you have a guy calling them out uh vicious means yeah especially if you don't know who it is you don't know how to take it you could be like damn like that's hella funny or that Loki kind of hurt, you know. <laughs> I want the listeners but... to understand these memes are vicious. These memes will open up your esophagus and stab you straight in the heart. These mean like how many memes were me and you? Me and you had many memes against us from this account. I I probably have the most at this point, maybe behind Benny Boy. You had some where it was like making fun of you for not really making fun of you, but making fun of Midas for saying you're a top five boxer. Like there's vicious memes running from this account. If he, she directly comes at me, um, I, there, I'm, I might take a little week off, you know, I know. Right. Like it it literally hurts. They've been bad. So. It hurts me. So, I mean, I think, Carter, at this point, I think we have to side with the mass boxer. I think that's what we have to do. I am a full stand mass boxer person. I think it it, it brings great content to us. It kind of gets our word out. It makes our boxers better. And also, um, he's he's trying to call out that bloodhounds or one shot wonders hey i'm here to expose you Mm -hmm. i i want to see i want to see people getting good with three people or three legends yeah i don't want to see the same person running the same legend all the same all all the time and then get exposed i want you to expose people you know exactly so i think at this point we will take the official stance. Our official statement is made as said. The Grab My Banner Boxing Podcast, Carter and I, are in full support of the Mask Boxer until further notice. Uh, obviously, Carter, there are things that can happen from the Mask Boxer that could make us switch sides. And, uh, you know, he might take it too far one day. Uh, you know, something like that. It can happen. But as of right now, February 19th, 2021 we are in full support of the mass boxer for the betterment of the grab my banner boxing championship i agree 100 percent. last thing do you think this is uh our man big man rain big man rain okay so here's what getting pissed with his lost bets because of (laughs) blood let me say something because i actually had this thought carter i I got a DM from the account called you will never know. And it said the Leafs are better than the avalanche. Now knowing big man rain good enough. He knows my favorite team. Okay. And, 
and the Leafs. The, that's the only questionable part because he fucking hates he the hates, Leafs. He hates the Leafs. Yeah. But that would throw me off the trail that it was big man rain. The only question is, does he have enough time to put in to make this big ruse? You know, like, does he have that in him to do this? I'm not 100% sold on that. Yeah. And so who's, who's talking hockey other than a Canadian? That's what I'm saying. That's I mean, why I still Andy. think it's Travi Patty or Tweety. Travi Patty is is a prime suspect right He's now. He's been my prime suspect suspect since day one. Like I think, I think okay, Travi, if you're listening to this right now, you are doing a terrible job, and you need to step up your tweet game. Meaning, stop tweeting like a fucking Canadian and stop calling people goofs and bud. Because it's so obvious, okay? If it is you and you want to stay secret, you got to chill with that. Number two, you can't be saying hockey references references to me because I know that I told you who my favorite hockey team was, and it was the Colorado Avalanche, and you know that, okay? But here's the other thing about Travi. He likes the Boston Bruins, and the Boston Bruins and the Leafs are 100% haters of each other, so I don't know if he would do that either. That's why I think Tweety is in on this, if it is Travi Patty. So, I mean, if it is you guys, you need to figure out, you need to Americanize yourself a little bit and and figure out how to keep this real because, uh, I mean, if that's your end goal, because you guys, I mean, there's been some very, very questionable tweets and DMs that have led me to believe it is both of you. But either way, as of right now, The Grab My Banner Boxing Podcast, we are in full support of the Masked Boxer, and we will continue to be in full support of the Masked Boxer for the betterment of the boxing community. Carter, should we also say a statement to people like Benny Boy 69 who have been victimized by the Masked Boxer to let them know that we still stand with them as well, but we need to see more from them? I think we'll always have our boxers' backs. Especially in your, if you're in the top 10, you have our respect. I think you guys, I think, honestly, it, it will end up bettering you in your boxing uh, skill level. So don't take it as personal. Just just try and use it as motivation. But we're not hating on you guys for taking the other side. We just We just kind of like the drama. Yeah, there's no hate here, and we want you to know that we we care about you, other boxers. Uh, we want the best for you, which is why we're doing this. You remember when you guys were kids and your parents would be like, uh, you can't do this, and you'd say, why? And they'd be like, because I said so. It, it's going to be better for you in the long run. That's why we're doing this. We don't want you to get complacent. We want you on the edge of your seat every time you pick up that controller and head into that, and, and head into that electric fence. We want you focused. We want your head on a swivel. We want to see the best that can ever come. And honestly, we want to make sure that if at any point in history – when say maybe another podcasting community comes at us and they say, yo, those grab my banner boys, bunch of bitches. I want us all to be on the same team. And I want us to all fuck eat, fuck that other team up. (laughs) That's what I want. Yeah. (laughs) I want that to happen. Okay. If if fucking, you know, any other apex podcasters say some content creators like, yo, we could fuck your boxing league up. Uh, No, you can't. Because our, our boxers, we hold each other accountable. We make sure that we are all at the top notch of our game at all points. That's what I want from this. So the mass boxer, he's doing that for you right now. Whether you exactly. like whether you like it or not, he's doing that for you right now. So go we grab yourself. To stay on top. Exactly. So grab yourself a raise energy. Use code banner for 15% off. Get yourself a raise variety pack number one. Get yourself ready. Go into the boxing ring. Train your ass off because the mass boxer is coming for you. He's coming for your job. He's coming for your title. He is coming for your spot on the top 10. And you better work your ass off to hold on to it. And that's the official statement. We'll see you guys on Sunday at 12 p.m. Pacific to get ready for open fight hour. I'll be on the call. Carter will be there to watch the bets. We're going to watch this go down. Grab my banner boxing championship number eight and keep your eyes peeled for the next tournament. 16 man boxing tournament, double elimination coming very soon. The bracket is close to being finished. Keep your eyes out for that. If you're a new up and comer and you've never boxed before and you want to get involved, send us a DM, say what's up, get in the ring with us, 
uh, whenever we're streaming, doing open fight hour, make yourself known, make yourself available so we can keep you on that list, getting ready for that tournament because it's going to be coming soon. And I'm sure that we're going to do more after that. So keep your eyes peeled. Thank you guys for listening. That's the official statement of the Grab My Banner Boxing Podcast.